name is Phyllis Lodron. I am 14 years old and I go to school at Sandy River Middle. I decided to take this class because I thought that it would be something different than your normal everyday class and you could maybe a different learning experience but still help me with my other subject at the same time. The topic that we chose for our game was global warming and our game is going to be about our character is Super Toaster and he is our main character and he flies over the world and he helps stop global warming and show people the effect that he is having on the world today. It helps when we research on our topic. That way you know what you're talking about. You don't uh, give out false information. We're not going to see, sit here and say that um, it's caused by the man on the moon. It's caused by, you know, like chlorofluorocarbons and things like that. I want my game to be fun and educational at the same time because I don't want to have a boring one where it's just you all learning and you don't want to play it. But I don't want, don't want one that doesn't show you anything about it and doesn't teach you. Well, my previous experience with the web and things like that would be, I used the guide on it just to go on MySpace or things like that, but now I get on it for actually educational uses and to find interesting facts and stuff that I didn't know. My social skills, for some reason, feel like they have increased, and my science skills for my future field in my career, my science has really increased a lot. My favorite thing so far about this class has probably got to be Really the fact that we're actually doing this stuff in Flash, that what we're learning and how we're making it happen, you know. I tell other students that it's not impossible. It looks hard and it is at first, but you, you come to an understanding with it after so long. I did. It's made me more aware of things on the internet and on Web 2.0 and uh, I guess I do know some stuff that college kids just learnt. I don't know if I'm as good as a game designer yet, but I would probably consider myself close to it because I've learned a lot here in the past few months and stuff, so it's really interesting.